Now, son, konnichiwa. I've just been reading a scroll. Do you know what a scroll is? This scroll is by the lady Murasaki Shigeru, and she lived a thousand years ago in the uh, Japanese court. So look at the writing for this scroll. It doesn't go left to right like our books. It goes from the top to the bottom and from right to left. That's how you read it. And as we scroll along, we see pictures as well. And this is the diary of that author. Now this was her diary and it tells us about how life was like in those days in Japan. They didn't have books yet in Japan, so they had to make scrolls. I'll pack this one up because there's one I really want to show you. Now, of course, these aren't uh, the original scrolls. These are replicas. Now, we've learned about animals in Japanese, how to say the names of animals before. So you remember Inu for dog, Neko for cat, things like that. This very old scroll is called the Choju Giga Animal Scroll. And it is another scroll from a thousand years ago. It depicts animals doing human actions. It's one of the first kind of funny picture books or manga in Japan. So this scroll is mostly just pictures. And we can see animals having a bath in the river, in the hot spring. And you can see Usagi and Saru and a lot of the different animals we've learned about. And this is all done with ink on paper. And unlike a book, I don't turn the pages, instead I just roll it along. So here's some Usagi and some Kairu and they're hunting with bows and arrows. All right, I'll pack this one up and I'll uh, show you what we're going to do today. Now this scroll's part of a series um, and there's all scrolls in this series and it's all of animals doing funny things. And like I said, we've learned animals before in Japanese, so we can use Now, I've prepared the tools I need to make my emaki. Uh, I have some serotepu. I have an old enpitsu, a glue stick, a nori, a marker, an orki marker, and a chisai marker. And I have a sami. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my white piece of paper. I've also got a white piece of paper, and I'm going to Anbun orite, I'm going to fold it in half. And I would cut it down the middle, but uh, I find that a little tricky, particularly when I've got like a bunch of cameras and things in the way of what I'm doing. So the easiest thing for me is to fold it, really crease it down, and then do this trick. And that usually gives me the straightest cut. Now, the first animal I'm going to draw on my emaki is going to be Usagi, rabbits, because that was in our Choju Giga emaki mono. So I'm going to write U, or U my back hurts. Sa, the samurai sword. And Gi is key for old fashioned key, but it's got 1010 there. Now that was with my Orki marker, I'm going to switch to my Chisai marker. But you can use whatever you want. In fact, if you want to be really traditional, you could use a paintbrush. And I'm going to draw my first Usagi. Choju Giga Animal Scrolls had the animals doing lots of different activities that humans would do. I'm quite musical, so I'm going to have mine do a uh, bunch of music things, like playing instruments. So I'm drawing two dots for my Usagi and a, another dot for his nose. I'll give him some whiskers 
and then draw a circle around and Usagi have Orky Mimi, big ears. Now this Usagi is going to be playing a guitar and if you've had a good look at a guitar, a guitar is like a figure eight. Okay, with a long neck. And I'm going to draw one of his arms up here. And the strings. Then I can draw his body. Leaf. And his hands out there, he's getting ready to strum. Okay, that's my first Usagi playing his guitar. Now my next Usagi is going to be playing keyboard. So two dots for his eyes, dot for his nose, whiskers, draw a circle, and big ears. Now I'm going to draw his keyboard underneath. I'm going to draw a rectangle going to draw two circles, they're going to be his hands, finish off the rectangle and draw a bigger rectangle underneath, drag it down like that, draw some lines down, these are going to be the keys and put on the black keys. Now if you know piano then you will know you do two sets of two for black keys and then a set of three black keys and then just keep repeating that and then finish his body off right they're my two Usagi uh, next I'm going to draw Kairu you know we know to write Kairu as Ka for Karate Kick E for exercise and ru for ruby at the end of the bar. And I'm going to draw two kairu. One is going to play a drum, but I'm going to draw his eyes first. Now, of course, you can draw whatever animals you want. There's his eyes. I just draw these ones because they are in the scroll. There's his mouth. this. Now I'm going to draw his drum next. There's the top of the drum. Top of the drum is just an oval or a uh, long egg. Two lines down and then half a oval underneath and he's going to be holding his drumsticks which is just lines with uh, circles on the end. And then, Kairu, you draw some C's like that. And kind of donut at the bottom. And then that's his legs that he uses to hop around with. And I'll just finish off his head. Here we go, there's my first Kairu. And my second kairu, you're going to be playing the cymbals. Okay, there's my cymbal over there. I'm gonna, usually I draw uh, the ice first for my characters, but I'm going to draw where I want my beaters to go. Right. Next, I will draw uh, just above where the beaters were like that. Then I can draw his eyes. So the guy that way, he's going to be looking at this guy. I think he's making a lot of noise. Then I can work out where I want his arms to be. Like that. Oh no, 
got to remember is the leg, which is a big C. Big roll underneath. And then just finish the shape off. Great. So, there are my Usagi and my Kairu. Now, do you remember we ripped our piece of paper in half? That's going to be the next part of our emaki, of our scroll. So I've got my next piece here. I'm going to get my naughty, and I'm going to just put a line down here and paste that on there. Draw my next two animals, and they are going to be Saru. Sa for Samurai Sword, and we've seen this one already. Ru for Ruby at the end of the path. And my first Sadu, he's going to be doing a very cliche Sadu activity. He's going to be playing the symbols. Uh, I'm going to draw his eyes first, as usual. And I might put, uh, he's smiling while he's doing this, and his eyes are smiling as well. Like uh, it, when Sadu have like a little like tuft of hair at the top, so I'll put that in. Uh, his mouth's open, he's having a great time. And Sadu, they've got a kind of uh, Homer Simpson jaw there, so I'll put that on as well. And little ears, Sadu. There we go. I'll draw his symbols next. He's going to crash these symbols together. I'll start them off as lines, just while I work out where I want them to be. And then I can give them their shape. And I'm trying to make these pictures not very difficult to draw, so I'm just doing easy lines. And I'll draw his body. pipes for his legs. There we go, I'll give him a cheeky uh, belly button. So, there's my first Saru playing the cymbals. My next Saru, I might do something a bit complicated with this guy. I might have him playing a saxophone. I'm going to draw his eyes first. He's blowing hard into the saxophone, he's scrunching his eyes together. Draw his mouth next. I want to draw the saxophone now. And that's just going to be a triangle. And it's going to curve around, come up like that. There's the horn. And I want to have somewhere for his hand to be. So I'm going to draw his hand there. Okay. I'll put his other hand here. Now I can put in those details now that I've blocked out where I want things to be. Some hair. And then I can do little body parts, putting in pipes for his arms. And a big round circle for the rest of his body. Okay, now we've put on all the animals in the scroll. So we've got our Usagi, we've got our Kairu, and we've got our Saru. But I want to add in something extra as well, because I've got this much room left over. So I'm going to add a typical Japanese animal. I'm going to draw a Tanuki, a raccoon. Ta, or TA spells Ta. Nu for noodles in a bowl with an egg and key or old fashioned key. We've seen that one already in Usagi. Okay, here's my Tanuki. I'm going to draw his eyes first. So there's one and he's looking this way. And wait till you see what he's looking at. Okay, there's his eyes. Tanuki, they got a little bit of a snout, so I'll give them a little bit of a snout. With a black circle on the end to be his nose. 
Now, they are garbage thieves, aren't they? So I'm going to give him a mask to wear. Anarchy, colour that in. There we go. Now, Tanuki have little bear ears. So I'm going to give him little bear ears. And I'm going to finish off his Atama, his head. And one of his arms is holding a drumstick, but he's holding a special kind of drumstick. It's just a piece of wood. And the next arm is going this way. It's holding another drumstick like that. And you can have a big body too. And again, don't make these complicated because if you look at the scrolls, they're just a few lines making up these characters. I'll give him a cheeky belly button as well. And what he's playing is a taiko drum. I'll try and make it match up with where his sticks are. Or one of his sticks. There we go. I'm going to stand under there. Great. That's my Emaki. Let's see, what have we got? We've got two Usagi playing instruments. We've got two Kaeru playing their instruments. We've got two Saru playing their instruments. And we've got Tanuki here. Now, we haven't used the Enpitsu and we haven't used the Serotepu yet. So what is this for? Now I've just gotten an old Enpitsu that uh, I don't really care about anymore. And I'm going to put a bit of Saddle Teifu around that. Because if you look at these scrolls, they've got a stick at the end, which is what helps them uh, wrap, uh, roll up. So I'm gonna put a tape there. One at the other end. And one in the middle, just for good measure. Now, of course, you might like to colour in your picture. And now I can start rolling it up. There we go. My emaki is done and ready to be put in some old temple to be read.